But does everyone understand at that stage, this soul has some instinctual things and it has personality, but it doesn't have a consciousness of its own personality. It doesn't yet know who it is. Is it possible to change personality? Um, personality, we, what we often feel is personality today is often injuries. In other words, emotional injuries that we've picked up during childhood and so forth. But yes, it is totally possible to change personality because once we're in the state of choice, which is after incarnation, we start, we can then exercise our free will to do anything we want. And if part of that is I want to change my personality, I can begin to do that too, if that's what I want. So your soul is far more powerful than what most people on earth realise today. And so it has, once it is aware of its own choice, it has the ability to do so many fantastic things. Far more fantastic things than what people realise. Including changes for sale. All right, so we have these little baby souls, all right? They are yet to experience themselves, right? They are yet to be conscious of themselves. So what happens so that they can be conscious of themselves? Well, this is what happens. The soul splits into two halves. Now, it doesn't split into two halves at the same time. And well, obviously, the split occurs at the same time, but the incarnation process doesn't occur at the same time. But what I mean by incarnation is, at the time of conception, a spirit body and a material body is created for the reception of the soul. You follow me? There's two bodies created. So let's say that this is a masculine half of the soul. Of, of the soul. It's going to be attracted towards a masculine body and there are two bodies created at the time of conception there's a material body created and a spirit body they both have genetic structure and when and the reason why i know for certain that there are two bodies is because when you pass so when you die or if, any, if you've ever talked to anyone who's passed you will know that they can feel and see and touch their own body still, even though they are a spirit. Does that make sense? So they have a spirit body and a material body, and both bodies were created at the time of conception. It's all part of the genetic code of the sperm <coughs> cell and the egg cell that creates those two bodies. And the soul is attracted into those bodies, but it's the heart of the soul. So there's one half there, and we'll draw another half. In this case, we're doing a male-female split, so we'll draw a female body. Sorry about the dresses, girls. Not too good a dress. And her shape's probably not fit off this one. <laughs> so two bodies. That's what I call the process of incarnation process of the soul attaching itself to two bodies that have been created for it through the sexual process. 